Yeah, man, it's the B-Side Show. Act like you know every single Monday night. Um, we're getting this interview in uh, while, while our guy's in town right now. Uh, we'll let him go ahead and introduce yourself, huh? It's Brother Marquis of the Two Live Crew. Brother Marquis, Marquis, your brother. I almost remember all the stuff right now. It'll come back to me, man. <laughs> I got all that. Hey, hey so uh, what brings you in town, man? What's, what's going on? Well, uh, I'm here um, doing a show tomorrow at the Whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a show tomorrow at the Whiskey on the Hollywoods on the Sunset Script. So everybody's welcome to come out. You guys are welcome to come out. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna be here for a couple of days after that, just working, getting some things in order. When is the last time you rocked the Sunset Strip? It's been a while. That's been a while. Uh, I can say a long time a long time yeah <laughs> a long time like house of blues yeah. like long time ago oh yeah yeah, yeah. so so uh, i i can't even imagine house of blues two life crew it had to be nuts oh yeah yeah but it was it was crazy it was crazy <laughs> who was at that show with us uh grandmaster flash rick james god bless he was dead yeah god bless he's dead we had a blast we had a blast I'm surprised the House of Blues survived did. it. Didn't just collapse in on itself, oh, you know. Man. That was a great show too. The crowd, the crowd was really into it. Yeah. yeah it was, it was hey, cool. hey uh, you know that you guys uh, probably had to go down in history as probably. I mean, I would just guess you guys probably had some of the funnest shows ever. I, I seen you guys rock live before. I can't remember the venue, and I and I still had the shirt. I don't know what happened to it now, but I had it like years later. I found it. Uh, the concert shirt that we bought, but we had fun, man. I'm sure 95 percent of people that went to a two live crew concert they can't remember it because yeah. it was a crazy time, right? I don't remember it's where a it great was. Concert when you can't remember really what happened, it's yeah. a good time, man. Yeah, all of our concerts, man. Back then, we were, when we all were together, yeah. shit, we didn't even know what we were what we were doing. We were like yeah. winging it half of the time, yeah, yeah. So, and and uh, that's what made it fun. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't know what to expect from each other every time we went on stage. So it was like, oh, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> give give me yeah. give me one crazy story that you remember. Uh, this is a mature audience show, so okay, feel free to dive well, in. Yeah, 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 he we was in, thinking about it. Wait we a minute. In, uh, yeah, I remember one time we were in uh, we were in some parts of uh, Carolina. I think it was like Greenville. We were we were down south, and we had this one girl, and she would put water. You know, she would put water, and she would go to the stage and just spray everybody. <laughs> So it was this wow. one dude, so Biggie Smalls was popping, you know, guy was in there looking like Biggie Smalls. <laughs> so she went to the front of the stage and like bent over and spurted him and he loved it, right? So they called him on the stage and and, then, and the girls, our dancers had uh, like bananas and dildos and everything in the show. So they took Which the is guy, common for do life Yeah, they show, took right? the okay. guy and they anyway they took the guy, they bent him over and took down his pants and rammed a dildo in him and he loved it. And he, he loved, loved it. it. Yeah, he <laughs> loved it. He all was in the audience, you know, with big glasses on and jewelry. You, you <laughs> thought he was a I'm a I'm a big I'm a big hip hop fan of a lot of people. The dildo up in him and he loved it. I don't think I would I don't think there's anyone I'm such a fan of that I would love that experience, yeah, you know? Either. Hey, well, you guys, you guys were changing the planet, hey, man. Yeah. On One the show at a time. Talking to your mic, my guy. I just saw him on the stage with the girls, and he was laying on his stomach, and he just had something sticking. Out. Oh, oh hey, he, he didn't realize it till that night. He goes, "Man, I guess I could get used man, to this." Huh? That was you one changed. of the craziest shows. You, you, I you ever changed had. that man's life, and you have no yeah, idea. Yeah, He's man. probably going to watch this right now and say, "I remember that." He's going to turn over to his husband and say, "That's the day. Uh, That's the day it happened." Say, yeah. tell like his he's husband. Like, he was like the realest gangster in the front row. Uh, it, yeah, uh, until that, that happened. happened yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 man. Man, that, that's they didn't have cell phones back then because we would have had that. Oh, that's one of the questions I was going to ask you. It, if Two Life Crew came in this um, generation and this music scene, but everybody's a videographer, everyone has a camera, it, it wouldn't have worked out the way uh, it did, been right? In jail. We would have been in jail for real. I, yeah, uh, I was going to say. Just for interacting with like the women out of the crowd. You know, they would have hashtagged Me Too movement yes. on me. You know what I mean? Because girls will touch you and then you touch them back and can't do that shit and, now. and they loving it though right yeah, you, yeah, you make it the night you hey, can't do it now yeah. like Baka was saying earlier though people kind of knew and, and came to expect that was part of a two live yeah, crew show, show man yeah, and that's yeah, that's yeah, the way it yeah. was but it was fun man because yeah. I've, I've been to one so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i remember hey, hey so um speaking of of that time and and uh you know it, something that's probably got to stick out to you throughout your career is that like um you guys kind of literally changed the way uh, hip hop can be presented, 
yes, because you guys did fight, you know, for the for our First yeah. Amendment, you know, and all that for our constitutional rights of freedom of speech. And um, you guys actually went back at them versus just folding it. All right. All right. You know, but, but you guys changed the, the landscape for hip hop. Well, yeah, that was a very big historical case. That was a historical case for us to win, uh, to fight the Supreme Court on that, you know. And uh, thank God we won, you know, because uh, yeah. they would have had a lot of restrictions on hip hop. There was a, I have a friend that's actually in law school. She goes to UCLA and she was telling me that they studied. That's one of the cases that they studied. Everybody in, uh, in studies entertainment law uh, in college. Yeah, that's our, our case is like curriculum to them or some shit. Was was there a time where it got a little bit scary and you said, hey, maybe we should fall back a little bit or you guys were full force ahead? We're basically, we're basically like full force ahead. I mean, uh, not at that time. I never thought about thought about stopping yeah, because it yeah. was fun pissing everybody off. You know? <laughs> I mean, run out, do a show, and say some cuss words, and you know, you having officials, whether they're local or government, spying on you and shit. I thought that was kind of cool, yeah, especially it, coming from Miami in the '80s. It was all kind of shit going on. So, and you, you were know? one of the first groups that really put on for Miami, that put on for that scene. That had to be great, right? Oh man, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And it had to be. It had to be a crazy time. I just told you, my company. We do a lot of shows in a lot of different cities, but I don't know if I can handle Miami in 2019. So Man. I can't. I don't know how you handled it back then. <sighs> a, a guy like you, your your records number one on the Billboard charts. It had to be nuts, right? Yeah, it was. It was. But <laughs> I, I made it through. There you go. I made it through. Miami was nuts back then. Yeah. Period. Even it was. It's. It was more wilder in Miami back then than it is now, because back then, you know. You know, we were in the real part of Miami, and everybody just knows South Beach, but that's not the real, that's not the real shit. That's just where the tourists are. But back then, back then, it was Miami. It was the real Miami, and it was like chaos. It was crazy over there. <laughs> I mean, I would just want to be around for a, a more than one show that I went to. I wish I could have just hung out for a few of them. I would have, you know, shit, I, things would have. I was yeah. always drunk too, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> do you, Do you enjoy performing uh, more now? Do you appreciate it more, or what is what's 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 the difference when you get on stage in 2019 compared to about 15 years ago? Well, um, I enjoy it more, and I say. I can say that I enjoyed it more when we all were together, yeah. or or when me and China Man was together, when we had dancers and everything out with us, it was cool too because the shows were gelling and the shows were exciting. It was a lot of energy and everything. Yeah, so rest in peace to Fresh I, Kid I Ice. I do man. like it better when I have one of my partners with yeah, me. I can, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, are you going to be sober when you get on stage at Whiskey Go Go yes, tomorrow night? Yes, I am. No more drinking, or uh, I'm yeah. sober. I'm sober. How long have you been sober now? Since I got off the plane, <laughs> there you go. I like that. I like that. Um, but you, you, you've lived life. You've lived ten times the normal person's life. You know what I'm saying? Right. You never pick up another drink again. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that, that's real. Hey, you know something else that that was uh, real dope about how how you guys meshed. You know what you did with you. You guys would come out with with songs that that they couldn't help but to play in the clubs or even radio. And still have to make a clean version of, you know, we want some pussy or whatever <laughs> it might be. But you guys were able to mix that, you know, with like a, a, a sound that, that could be played anywhere. Yeah. And that's crazy. Yeah. And thank God for a lot of uh, DJs and a lot of radio stations that did do their own edits. Oh, yeah. Because that helped, you know, that helped push us across the country when they started doing that. They had to do their own edits, right? They yeah, can't, hey, program were, director, the I'm going to play this. What do you mean? Yeah, because the songs were hot on the street, yeah. and it was getting in, in, in the controversy. Yes, you know, shit, everybody was aroused and wanted to hear them. Yeah. But and I remember one time we went to a Detroit, and they were playing We Want Some Pussy on, on the radio radio. We turned on the radio, w, uh, WJLB, and they was playing the dirty version. Oh, so it had to be a great time. Because yeah. Detroit don't kill. Detroit, yeah, hey, Detroit's Detroit going to do what Detroit does. Good. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Let's, hey, let's some program come back to tell me what hey, I can play. You and know? the DJ probably didn't even get fired. Yeah, he just yeah. got suspended yeah, for yeah. a day or something. Yeah, you know I'm what I'm like, saying? Damn, they're playing, they playing We Want Some Pussy on uh, mainstream radio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it it still to this day, man. You know, if I'm at a club, I'm at a bar, and, they, and DJ drops that, the whole place goes nuts, man. All these years later, it has to be a great feeling. Or yes, it is. Me so yes, horny, yeah, and, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. Just like yes, it is. A lot of our songs, Hoochie Mama, Shake yeah. a Little yeah, Song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then that even kind of was, uh, 
you know, ahead of its time in like the, uh, the, the direction that some of the dance sounds went. Right. Like uh, on that, the Hoochie Mama song, like mm -hmm. um, that kind of, um, there's still a style, you know, kind yeah. of off of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying now? So. Yeah. That's, that's like I said, it, it has to feel good all these years later. These these jams are still playing in the clubs and bars and stuff like that. Yeah. Strip clubs. Yeah. I've never been to a strip club, but I imagine. Oh, yeah, this right. guy. <laughs> we can go to G Live. You, you want to go like to G Live? I don't know what G Live is. It's in Hollywood. Okay, I've never been to G Live in Hollywood. Yes, in Hollywood. Okay, maybe I'm slipping. I don't know. I, I go to uh, Crazy Girls in Hollywood. That's why I do my shows there and stuff like that. And every time they play it, the women go crazy yeah. and make a lot of money. So all these years later, there's still strippers paying tuition because of what you did. Yeah, yeah that's right. yeah. I think I think there should be a statue of you in front of every strip club, right? <laughs> the, the, the anthems for the. I tried to leave a piece of me in every strip club I went in. I like that. Hey, hey, same here, man. That's probably why I haven't been to one in a while. Like, yeah, they, when you get older, that shit plays out. Yeah, though, I had like, to chill out You've probably been bit. to five million strip clubs, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, yeah. I can imagine. I go in the strip club now and go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> right? Yeah, so like, you ain't you doing know, nothing exciting uh, no more. Yeah, just bring me a drink yeah, and that's yeah. it. Hey, hey we're going to play a, a video. We'll be right back after that. Man, we got some more to talk about with Brother Marquise in the building. Two Live Crew. What? Yes. Eastside, baby. <laughs> 